And now, your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Montreal Beach Resort. Under new ownership, discover some of the amazing updates that have gone into one of Cape May's most iconic properties. And check out Harry's Ocean Bar and Grill with an all-new menu and seven days of entertainment, including dueling pianos. Book your getaway or visit today. Happy lunchtime on your Sunday afternoon. Meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Merry Christmas to everybody out there who are celebrating. I've been mentioning this every once in a while in the, the videos that I do. I mentioned on my Facebook page during the week. I've mentioned it on Nor'easter Nick's page is the fact that people like myself and a lot of people out there always complain about sinus issues and head issues. Well, the main reason is only because of the cold and the wind out there. Look at how dry the air is out here. Three for a dew point. I know this is a little bit better than it was yesterday because I know I showed this map around lunchtime and it was, what, negative 10 for a dew point? But still, this dry air in place is making things very difficult if you kind of any kind of sinus or allergy or any kind of head issues you might have out there. So definitely, uh, accordingly, just take care of yourself out there because, unfortunately, that dry air is going to continue for the rest of today. Air temperatures out there not getting much of higher either. Look at this, 23 right now in Philly, 24 in New York City, 25 in Boston, and, of course, the Appalachian uh, Plain much colder out there, and 23 up in Buffalo. Good news, we see some sunshine up there since they've been battling basically 48 hours worth of heavy snow up there uh, yet again after that one system pushed through, what was it, two, three weeks ago? So now they're unfortunately dealing with some snowfall up there. So at least it's nice to see some chances for them to be able to dig themselves out. Exclusive Norcast hour by hour forecast for the rest of today. Temperatures dipping up, uh, getting up into the mid to upper 20s, but unfortunately the key is the fact that unfortunately these winds are going to continue to scream out of the west northwest, looking about gusts near 30 even 35 miles per hour for us along the shoreline itself. So it won't even come close to feeling like this another afternoon where it's going to be close to feeling like zero. So you definitely have to bundle up if you're heading on out to maybe a lunch or dinner with family for today or heading to somebody's house. Obviously, they'll have to bundle up heading to their house, unfortunately, because of that wind out there. Skies are clear out there right now. That's some good news out there. We could see some filtered sunshine as we head into the afternoon itself, but overall, we're going to stay nice and clear out there. And as we head into tonight, we'll also be on the clear side. Now, as we head through tomorrow, there's a warm front that's going to be pushing on into the Great Lakes. You can see the extension of it here heading towards Detroit and, and Pittsburgh, but it's going to kind of filter its way into the area and kind of stole a bit, unfortunately, I think, as we head into tomorrow, I think even into Tuesday and possibly Wednesday. Now, the bad news is that means we get, unfortunately, we're going to see more clouds, I think, than sunshine. The good news, we're not going to see temperatures in the teens and 20s. We're not going to see winds screaming out of the west-northwest at 30 to 35 miles per hour. The winds will be much more west to southwest, which is some great news. That will allow temperatures to basically still be below normal, unfortunately. We'll be in the 30s, but it won't feel about 10 to 20 degrees colder than what the air temperature is, like we're feeling right now with this west to northwesterly flow. As we head into Wednesday, on into, it depends, again, how quickly that warm front could push through on through here. But we start to see some changes in terms of the flow. We start to see a much more west to southwesterly flow that's coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. We're talking about temperatures potentially getting up into the 60s, even near 70 degrees. Wow. By the time we hit next weekend. As we head for tomorrow, again, more cloud cover. I think as the day goes on throughout the day itself, temperatures getting up into the low 30s. Again, the key is going to be this wind here. Not as bad sustained. Still going to be like 5 to 10, even 15 miles per hour. But it's going to change more west to, I think, west-southwest. That's going to allow for the temperatures to not feel as cold out there and that flow not as cold across the region. Seven-day forecast, as I mentioned, depends on how quickly this warm front pushes through. Tuesday, I think mostly cloudy. Wednesday, I think early clouds. Again, how quickly that warm front pushes out. We could see some sunshine by the afternoon. But look at this temperature trend as we head into the rest of the week. More seasonable by the time we hit Thursday. And look at this, as I mentioned, for next week in your exclusive Norcast plus three days. New Year's Day, 66 degrees, pushing 70 a chance of maybe seeing some showers out there. Same thing for Monday and when everybody goes back to school and work, looks like on the 3rd. On Tuesday, we're back to where we should be for this time of year. Merry Christmas again. Have a great rest of the afternoon.